Hi, my name is Larry Karaszewski, and this is Trailers from Hell. Uh, now we're going to look at the movie Robert Altman made after MASH. MASH was a worldwide phenomenon. It won the Grand Prix at Cannes. It was a huge box office hit. It was nominated for Best Picture. And Altman could do anything he wanted. Uh, and he chose to use that chit to make perhaps his most offbeat film. And for Robert Altman, that's saying something. It's from 1970. It's a very strange adult fairy tale about a mass murderer and a boy who wants to fly. It's Brewster McCloud. If you think Robert Altman made a mess of the army in MASH, <laughs> wait till you see what he does to the cops. I love Robert Altman. He has an amazing body of work. Some are masterpieces, some are unwatchable. I can't make up my mind which camp Brewster McCloud belongs in. Uh, sometimes I watch it and find it brilliant. Other times it's just a mess. Only Altman can confuse you like that. Altman became involved in the project through rock producer Lou Adler, who had attached himself to Doran William Cannon's script. The script took place in New York City in the TWA building. Altman got a hold of it and started changing everything. The location was now the Houston Astrodome. Uh, he made it broader, more farcical, and obsessed with bird shit. He used it as a motif in the film. And of course the writer hated all this. Altman is very hard on writers and producers. He sees them as the enemy. He loved actors and making stuff up at the moment, which of course infuriates anybody who planned something out for years. Altman is very loyal to his actors, the uh, Altman Stock Company. A lot of them are here. Uh, Sally Kellerman's Sexy Godmother, Michael Murphy's Steve McQueen parody, John Shuck's Dumb Cop. The lead is Bud Court, coming off a small role in MASH. Court was auditioning for plays and TV shows, but Altman told him to stop. Altman would make him a movie star. Court has such an interesting film presence. He's sort of a cuter Michael J. Pollard. I wish he had a bigger body of work. This and Harold and Maude are really his only two starring roles. Altman's big discovery on this film was Shelley Duvall. This is her first movie. She wasn't even an actress. She tried to sell some paintings to uh, Altman's second unit director, Tommy Thomason, who quickly ran to Altman saying, you gotta check this girl out. She was a bit suspicious, thought these guys were making a porno film. Shelley Duvall is a total original. That body, those eyes. Altman used her again and again. In Nashville, Thieves Like Us, Three Women, and Popeye. Altman's films have a lot of characters running around in them and sometimes can feel a bit disjointed. And in MASH, he stumbled upon a brilliant unifying solution. In the editing room, whenever he needed a transition, he would cut to the loudspeaker. In Nashville, he uses the campaign van of Hal Philip Walker. Here, he films a comic lecture on birds. It sort of works. There are a lot of elements in this film, and they don't really all come together. Altman was a huge pothead, and this is perhaps his stoniest film. And he did say it was his favorite. He said it was the movie that he took the most chances with. His boldest and most ambitious work. And I haven't even mentioned the best part. Margaret Hamilton, the Wicked Witch of the West, sings the Star Spangled Banner twice over the opening credits.